Hey guys, so this is the answer key to the fourth grade science review that was due on Friday. So I'm putting it on YouTube today. I just want to go ahead and share my screen with you guys, and that way we can go over the answers. All right, so row one, you need to look at the picture and decide what type of clouds those were. Those were cumulus clouds. So those are the ones that you see in a nice fair weather day. Um, it usually means they're sunny blue skies outside. Then we had, those are cumulonimbus clouds, number two. Stormy thunder, lightning. And then off, we ever looked at a weather map and we saw these little triangles on almost like on the little piece like strings or something. Um, those mean a cold front is coming. And the way I remember, if you look right below it, there's one that looks like they have little circles attached to it, and that means a warm front. So the way I remember the difference is that the triangles, they look like ice cubes, ice cubes, icicles, like hanging from a roof. And the little circles almost look like they're suns. So icicles are cold. And the little suns mean warm. And so that's how Ms. Strauss remembers the difference between the two different symbols. And the one thing that you're changing, that you're testing in your experiment, that would be the independent variable. What am I going to see during a storm? I'm going to see cumulonimbus clouds. Those thin, wispy ones and they're really, really high up in the air, those are called cirrus clouds and I call them I, how I remember them I remember Cirrus the horse because if you think about like horse hair it's really thin and wispy and it kind of like waves so I kind of remember like they look like horse hair up there Cirrus the horse we already did this one um, the parts of the experiment you keep the same no matter what you're doing with the independent variable those are the constants that way you can get a true experiment um, stratus clouds those are the ones that we have that are really close to us, they're really low in the sky, and it's almost like a, like a thin gray blanket, and it's usually like rainy and drizzly type of weather. Um, where we're going to see flooding along coasts, those are going to be hurricanes. Right now it is hurricane season. I'm sure you've been hearing about all kinds of hurricanes that have been happening down in the Gulf of Mexico, along the coast of Florida and Georgia, Texas, Louisiana. Um, high pressure means we're going to have clear skies, nice weather. So we like high pressure. And low pressure means that there's rain or storm possibly coming. So look at this data and decide if was it quantitative or qualitative. This was qualitative. Um, so again, there's no numbers. It's just more kind of general information about the history club. We need to look at this map of Virginia with some temperatures and decide which ones were true. There's actually only one true statement. The answer key is wrong. The only one that's true is that Emporia is colder than Bedford. Far, Richmond, Farmville, and La Crosse are not colder. They're actually um, warmer than Emporia. The only one that's to ignore that one. The only one that's correct is the second one. All right, the symbols that you'll see on that map for high pressure and low pressure are really easy. A capital H for high pressure and a capital L for low pressure. And in this history club data, this is quantitative because you can see that they were counting the number of students and saying how many were boys and how many girls. And they were giving us percentages. So those type of data is going to be quantitative because there's quantities, there's amounts. All righty. That's it for today. I'm going to stop share. Hopefully you checked your answers and be looking for next week for your answer key. Bye.